and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm gonna be going over what you need to be doing with your coins right now, guys. Now, obviously, the Harvest promo has dropped. We all know this already. And now I'm going to go over what you should be doing with this promo. Now, guys, as you can see, I have built up my coin stack quite a bit. Guys, there's a lot of advice I have for you guys to build up your coin stack right about now. It's just a smart idea with the way the dynamic of the market is right now. I do have a market talk coming for you guys today, so make sure to watch that. And I'll probably coincide with this a little bit, so you can use a little bit of both. I have a few videos coming for you guys today. Hopefully, I have the Harvest Daily Challenge, too, that you guys have probably saw already. I hopefully have the market video. I hopefully have this coin video out for you. And my fourth video, it all depends on how I go about today. But hopefully, I have four for you guys today. There's a lot of content to go over. Hopefully, you guys watch everything today. And thank you guys for all you guys here right now watching this video. Now, see, this is a different dynamic we have to take on this specific video because I have a few things to advise against. I have a few things to advise for. And I have a few things that I can advise for the future. So I'm going to have a bunch of things to talk about in this video, guys. Hopefully, you stay tuned to the end to hear all of it. You're going to do my best. Obviously, my coin stack went up quite a bit. I've been working on I've been working the market a little bit, trying to get my coins up. And guys, thank you for all you here right now. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notify bell, boys. Come join the family. I appreciate each and every one of you that have been joining. We're, we're grinding up to 13K, guys. Really not that far. We're 700 subs away, but with the way we're growing right now, if everything goes right, we could probably hit it by the end of the week. And if you haven't already, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Every like you guys drop on the video just helps this channel grow. So everyone watching right now, if you're a supporter of the channel, smash that like button. You guys have been crazy. I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you for all that. And make sure to comment down below if you guys need any help. Any help at all. Hit me up on Twitter if you want direct messaging. If you're just cool with a comment, that's all good too. All right. So first things first guys you guys you guys you got those daily solos i just gotta i gotta recommend you guys play those i will have the daily solo riddle done for you guys today for the day two obviously day one we're ready we're already done with you do get ten thousand coins when you complete this milestone so i get those done a little easy coins to make plus you get some you get a free card here and stuff so obviously i don't know what the end game for all this is i'm just gonna recommend it real quick now going into the coin stack itself first off like I, i'm talking about in the market video the market is up right now like real up and that is because of the different dynamic that was taken in this promo this promo is training oriented to build the turkey stuffers you need a lot of training approximately like 9600 training per card so if you did every card to get all eight to complete michael Irvin and night training set it will cost you approximately 1.9 million coins worth of training so if everyone's if a lot of people are doing that especially the mutt millionaires you know sure as hell the prices are going up so to show you guys what i mean real quick i'm not going to do too much of this because in the market video all these cards went up these cards are all low 200ks high one high 190s going into this promo they went up so if you guys have any of these cards i recommend you sell them now here's the thing here's the thing with selling them right now though if you sell them right now you're going to make probably a 20 percent increase in markup on what you would have made before even after reduction now the thing is though i anticipate they'll probably come down towards the end of the harvest promo when things start to die down or after legend saturday so if you guys want you could probably buy some of these back on legend saturday again and then going into the blitz promo training's gonna probably be useful there too so you might want to buy training back so if you got you guys always you guys gotta play the ups and downs of the market so that's how i made coins last year in the christmas promo i played it when it was up and then i played it when it was down so right now it's up sell what you got sell what you don't need specifically if they're powered up guys don't worry about it just keep them obviously you're gonna probably lose more and just getting rid of them but if they're not powered up and you just have them sitting there sell them make your extra coins and then when things start to come back down maybe after legend saturday and a few more bundles and stuff buy some back and then when the blitz promo comes out buy a few more things keep some things and then when training goes up during the blitzing promo because the blitz promo will introduce most likely some training uh global limit packs which if you guys don't know those are like the special packs they drop every like eight hours on the blitz promo that people go crazy for and if the training goes back up then then you resell and you make hundreds of thousands of coins guys it is foolproof i'm telling you last year i made almost 10 million coins during the christmas promo by playing the christmas uh snow value the snow the snow points the currency that was crazy hopefully christmas is like that again this year and i'll have a bunch of banger videos for you guys during then but other than that once you guys get all that done and you guys want to play the ups and downs of the market building up the coin stack is essential because i'm waiting right actually i'm gonna show you guys one more thing on the market i'm waiting right now i'm not buying a thing i'm selling as you guys can see i'm not buying a single thing because my end goal here i want that michael Irvin and the night train lane but i don't think they're worth it right now i think 500k is a little bit high i think they will come down closer to the 400k range michael Irvin's the best wide receiver in the game hands down so if he gets down to the 400k range don't get me wrong i will be scooping him guys and some of the reductions have come down too so if you want to buy those if you want to buy those i can't i wouldn't i wouldn't suggest against it i mean they're, they're pretty cheap randy moss in the 600k range already which is probably because michael Irvin's better than him and I, I don't know who wants to argue that but besides the two inches of height michael Irvin is better at every single thing he does especially once you powered up and kept him up it's gonna be crazy the route running is gonna be unreal and the nitro lane is just one of the most physical corners in nfl history 
He's going to be great. Him and Deion Sanders lined up side to side. Going to be a great thing for my defense and Michael Irvin on my offense. So once you guys get that done, I'd hold the coin stack because they're going to drop. They're going to drop LTDs. They're going to drop the blitz. I'd want coins going into the blitz personally. Like Harvest is cool and all, right? We get your cards, whatever. I want coins for the blitz because that's going to be when you make when you make your money. Because the blitz, because like Harvest, you can't make too much coins on a program like Harvest in October, like Halloween. You guys just play those. They're fun. They introduce new cards. But the promos, like the heavy hitters that you can make tons of coins, are going to be the Blitz. So make sure you have your coins ready for the Blitz, because the Blitz is going to introduce new limited cards. It's going to introduce global limit packs. If you guys have enough coins, you can you can participate in it. Like I said, if they drop a global limit pack on the Blitz, like at midnight, where it's 5,000 packs in the whole world, Platinum players. You know what Platinum players are? It'll be like a really cheap pack. You open it, and you get Quick Sell players. And last year, I made 1 million coins off Quick Sells, and I only spent like 100k to do so. It was crazy. I'm telling you guys, yeah, you're probably going to need training for it, so... Make your coin stack as high as possible going into the Blitz. See what you can do with that, obviously. It's going to be a different dynamic than the Harvest promo. But with the way the Harvest promo has raised the market, this is a great opportunity to just make a ton of coins by doing so. For me, I sold, I'm selling off things that I don't need or things that I don't plan to use. I sold a few Legend cards that I had. I sold my Peyton Manning card that I was sitting on. He goes for like 380 now. I believe, I don't know, I didn't filter it out properly, so I could be wrong on the exact price of that. But I was just selling things I don't really need, things that I was holding on to lower elites that you have that you've just been holding as backups that you don't really want but you never want to sell them now will be the time to sell them things have went up quite a bit in my opinion now once you have that coin stack like i said and you're holding for blitz obviously don't blow it all on blitz because you're gonna want some for christmas you're not gonna want to kill the whole thing because christmas is gonna be a very important promo too but right now i think it's a great opportunity to make some coins because think about it you were gonna if you were gonna if you had dallas clark and you were gonna sell them for like 205 you were gonna get back like 190 185 after reduction now you can sell them for like 270 if you wait a little bit and probably get back 250 you're probably making an extra 50k if you get if you have like five to seven cards to sell you can make an extra 50k per that could be almost two to 300k more depending on how much you sell them for on top of what you would have made before and with that extra coin you do that for the blitz and then obviously the harvest problem is gonna have daily daily solos objectives you can get your turkey stuffers done and maybe even guys with that increased amount of coins you're making from selling let's say you make an extra 250 300k worth of like upcharge that you got from selling them for more you could then take that and use that for training that you could potentially use to get the main courses then maybe you can almost get your 92 player for damn near free because you made those extra coins off of just selling your players back and then in a week or so when things start to come back down or let's say two weeks two weeks when things start to come back down again then you can buy your cards back because guys those cards do not have the value you think dallas clark is not worth 270k he's only worth that because everyone's buying the chair everyone's buying training right now so when the promo's over and the only training in between christmas and maybe blitz Things should come down a little bit, and then when that comes down, you can buy them right back. Yeah, you might not have a team for two weeks, but it's definitely worth it for the increased coins you have to spend. You don't have to spend a single dollar. This is the easiest way to make coins, in my opinion. And then you can even use that extra coin you make to do the main courses and stuff. You can get your Odell, or your Boso, or your Amos, or your Nelson, and so on and so forth. That's kind of the route I'm taking. As you guys see, I've not bought a single thing in the Harvest promo. I've not bought one thing. I'm waiting because we all know, right? Ray Lewis and Peyton Manning were going for 450k, 380k. I waited a little bit. They were going for 320. I always like to wait on that stuff. I recommend you don't spend right now. I think it is a heavy, heavy selling part right now. And then obviously, it's just like the, the same thing with October. Sell right away and buy when the hype settles. Hype is what drives Madden prices. Supply and demand. There's a good supply, but there's a very hype amount of demand right now. So if you guys can just outweigh the demand and be patient, you guys make tons of coins. I have a ton of coins, and even I'm not going to spend it dumb because right, if I do both sets right now, if I do both of these sets and I spend about 1.9 million coins. And I want to keep Night Train Lane and Michael Irvin. So then I'll be left with 500k, 570k left of coins. After all these coins, it's not worth it to me. Now, if I wait, if I wait like a week or two, or I wait like a week, maybe I just end up buying the cards outright. Because me personally, guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not a fan of a lot of these turkey stuffer cards. So like, I I want to do the sets, but I have to make sure the sets are gonna be worth it for me. Because some of these sets, right? If you do them, let's say the set costs 900k. If you do the set right now, it costs 900k, and you sell Michael Irvin for 500, like 20k, and you get back like 480, you could potentially get four Nat cards for about 400k which wouldn't be bad i'm gonna go over that in a separate video obviously do all the mathematical breakdown for you but if you guys could potentially get brady odell Ertz, and quentin nelson for a total of 400k that's worth it if you can use them but for me i can't use brady i can't really use Ertz, and i mean i can kind of use odell now again i could keep Ertz as a backup or my second tight end which wouldn't be too bad i could use quentin nelson as my starter and i could eventually use odell so in that case i think Irvin's the better set to do for me because night trend land i cannot use brian kerrigan I can't use AJ Bouye. I can't use Adrian Amos. I'll only use Joey Bosa. So I do not really want these Nat. So I think for me, I'll probably end up buying, I'll probably end up doing Joey Bosa by himself. And then I'll probably end up doing the Michael Irvin set and just buying Nitrin Lane. That's probably how I'm going to go. That's my personal opinion. Cause I don't know about you guys. 
I do not think AJ Bowie is a long-term answer at cornerback. I don't think Kerrigan is either, and I don't think Amos is because we have Pat Tillman. I think Bosa is. I will gladly take Bosa. And then in, the, in terms of Michael Irvin, I think I can use Odell for a while. I think I can use Quentin Nelson for a while and Zach Ertz. And I can just probably quick sell Tom Brady and get some training value back on that. That's probably the route I'll end up taking because I think that's the smartest thing to do for me. And if not, I'll just end up buying Michael Irvin separately and then just powering up the players that I want specifically, which would be Odell and maybe Joey Bosa. That's probably the route I'll end up taking, guys. I hope this helps you guys get a little idea of what you should be doing with your coins right now. And obviously the Turkey All-Stars, guys, I think this is not a bad idea. I think Dak Prescott's a pretty safe bet. I will, if you guys wanna see a video going over me ranking them, let me know. I think Dak Prescott's a pretty safe bet. And from the free All-Pro packs that I got from being a Matter Rewards member, plus the Solo Challenge is gonna give me another one of these cards, I could probably do this set for like 80K. So I think it's definitely worth it. Guys, if you got your free packs and your free players, instead of selling them, just do one of the Dak Prescott's. If he goes up to a 92 overall and he can get Escape Artist after that, he's going to be really worthwhile. He'll probably end up selling for closer to 200K. So especially with the way the training is looking right now, if he's above 250K, you're going to make quite a bit of coins on him. So I'm definitely going to be doing probably Dak. And I got to rank all these specifically to let you guys know who has the best bets of doing them. But if you guys want to see that, comment that down below. Hopefully this helps you guys with the coins. I'm trying my best to make my coins right now. Hopefully I can get to about 3 million coin stack. By the end of this week that's kind of the goal here if i sell enough stuff and i build up the stack and then when things start to come back down buy them right back and i'll probably be left with maybe like two million but i'll have all the cards i want and i think that's way more worth it that's always my favorite thing to do in a promo it is to start with 2.5 million build it up to 4.4 million let's just say get every card i want and power it up and sell back end up back at 2.5 million it's like how do you do that right i'm telling you following the trends you make it's like it's like a stock market guys like being on wall street you make money using other people's money people you invest in cards you sell them back people buy your cards they give you the extra money because they don't want to wait and they're not patient and then you use their money to go buy your stuff that's kind of how i like to rock these promos guys but that is about it for the video if you guys are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button turn that notification bell, boys come join the family hopefully at this point this is like my third video for the day so hopefully you guys have seen everything else or my second video so hopefully i have the harvest ch uh, challenge for you guys i know that's very important for you guys and if you guys haven't already make sure to smash that like button let's get this video to 300 likes everyone watching right now best way to show support is always to like the video and comment down below if you guys need any help with anything any questions comments or concerns comment them down below or hit me up on twitter for direct help twitter's probably the better bet or right, the comment section is like i get to it but twitter's a little more direct if you guys need impersonal help but guys that's about it for the video thank you so much for watching i'm out see you guys next video peace